Hey yo, greetings gamers. This is Jared Leopold getting ready for another game of Ashes against Alexius. Good luck and to have fun. Ooh, I think this is good for me. Well, he looks like he's out of pain. All right, so I haven't been in the mood too much for building my own stuff. So what I did is that I just grabbed a deck. This was by E.B. Fritz. I think it made a top two in a recent tournament. Uh, and I wanted to take it for a spin. Now, of course, because I tinker, uh, I couldn't leave it alone. There were a couple different versions on there. So I just took the one that made top two, and then I added Huntmaster. Just because I haven't gotten to play with Koji and the Wolf and all that fun stuff. Um, going up against Astria in Judgment, I think it's not great for for this guy. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna run Koji. The three books are Lightbringer, Snapper, Time Hopper. I wish the time hopper was actually the bird, and that's what I thought it was originally. Thankfully, I did a quick little test run against the um, what you call it, the chimera, uh, and realized they were time hoppers. And I was like, "Oh, uh, okay, I guess." Like, oh no. Oh no, my opponent rolled seven basics. <laughs> well, good thing. Doesn't mean you lose at all. Good thing I'm not a spin down deck. Discard any cards? Nope. So, the other reason I really wanted to play this is I haven't gotten to play with the wolf yet, which I was really excited to do. But the other thing that I was very excited about is look at this color spread it's gorgeous one two three four five six seven seven colors like i'm in love is this deck made for me well i don't know uh shimmer and chain revenge some sort of burn deck maybe all right, well, let's go Time Hopper, I guess. Okay, so they could have loaded up the card, well, as soon as they play uh, Shimmer. Okay. I mean, you can bring it in, but there's no reason to. Oh, and they disconnected. And they're back! Alright, Shimmerwing hits the table. Opponent draws cards. Let's get to meditating. There's the other chant. There's a frostbite. Oh, ouchie. Two frostbite books. One hit in the bin is no big deal. Two, though, really makes it a bummer if you draw that third. Fire Archer. All right, well, this is 100% burn. Burn, a little bit of draw. Nature's Wrath. Judgment to keep the board clean. Mm. This is not going to be great for this guy. I'm just playing out my books. There's the Ritualist. I would be hard pressed to not see Pack being in this deck, but I could be wrong. Mostly because I always assume the what whatever worth uh, is in there, and that would be terrible for me. No, just. Grabbing the chant from the graveyard. Alright, so I disconnected for a little bit and I'm back. 
Okay, well, what do we do here? Why don't we... Uh, snapper... We get Time Hopper. I mean, someone see foam snapper. Hopper. There we go. Oop, there we go. Mm. See if we can get that beguile. Mm, this is gonna be tough to get around. All I want to do is spam out a bunch of little dudes, and all Astrid wants to do is to beguile big dudes, and then judgment, nature's wrath, all my little guys. So let's see what they do. I'm looking at a ritualist and a shimmer wing. Pass. Oh my. Could just attack their attack the shimmering. Yep. I'll attack the shimmering, and if he passes, I'll ping when I'll pass. Should have attacked the ritualists. Ooh, guard down. Astria, guard down. Uh oh. Sympathy pain on the open? Holy burn. Are you telling me a 16 life guy is not a great idea right now? Oh boy. Hmm. With Astria sitting at 18 life with one damage. Boy, trying to figure out how to race this guy is going to be tough. Swing in for one. If you swing in for one, you take it gladly. Do you ping? Lightbringer. Maybe. He's got the other chant of revenge in hand, but they're not playing it. Why is that? Mm. All right, ping the ritualist, play the lightbringer, pass it over. Make him Shimmerwing. They could do the chant, I guess. Ooh, people are trying to talk to me. How exciting. Oh, I just needed to just hit and turn. Okay, that was my fault. This delayed a little bit on my side, and I was like, what is going on here? All right, you can't. Plays it, and has to attack. So I can get in for two, I guess. Okay, so Ash is going to go first in the next round. We've got three conjurations out there. Mm. Have faith. Probably shouldn't. 
I should have passed. I'm like, all right. Like, there's no way that there's a hammer knight in there, is there? Pass. I guess I pass too, huh? Yeah, I'll pass. Alright. Let's keep there, keep there, keep there. A lot of good dice to keep. Done. The fighting cards, you know. Whoa, dice. Okay, well, now they're not messing around. I should have spun down those. Well, you only had one frog at the time, so. Yeah, fair. Uh, let's see now. You assume what? A. Nature's Wrath? Oh, okay. Draw a card. That seems legit. Spin up for that. Spin up for that. Do that and swing. Pretty funny. Mm, let's just attack one of them, I guess, right? Do do do. Oh, I think I finally figured out the deck. Jumps in the way. What do we got? We got another uh, sympathy pain. We do. Okay, put five on me. Mm -hmm. That's on me. I should have got ready for that. <laughs> so is it all just burn in like these two books? I mean, it could be. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that plan at all, right? And then like, you never use Shimmerwing. So you attack here. No one's going to hit. Side action. Do you accelerate? And just be like, all right. I think maybe I go ahead and accelerate. No, it doesn't seem right. Just end. Okay, so what am I sitting on? I'm sitting on one active time hopper. I've got a sea uh, snapper and a light bringer that are exhausted. Face down two active shimmer wings. One's got a damage on it. Uh, I did break the guard of the Astria. Opponent passes three cards in hand. Okay. Play the Time Hopper book. And then accelerate. Uh, pull up the ping. Pull that up. Spin up. Uh, Frog. Remember, I've got Golden Veil just in case and Sympathy Pain. What I should do. There we go. Spin that up for Sympathy Pain. Keep that for Golden Veil. Got Excavate and Hunt Master.
Uh, attacking with the library was wrong. We gotta remember the time hopper is gonna attack just fine. There we go. Okay, so we pinged, use frog ping. We've got one frog ping left. I have a bunch of dice. Now, what can I do to try and make it work? I can try and take two to the face from here. Not looking forward to that. Astra still hasn't used ability. And I haven't seen stuff yet. Well, we could still do that. We could frog ping there, play Lightbringer. So sticking with my original plan. Attack the Lightbringer with, I hope, the Wold Salt. Yeah, okay. Choose guard. Nope, done. Counterattack. Nope. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. with a wolf head to spin down these guys over here. I think I just do that, right? Go get him time over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I should have spun up uh, time. Time die. Okay. I would take two. Yeah, like I want. No, I still got the beguile. Like I really want to play Hunt Master, but a little bit. Going all out here.
All right, put the snapper into play. There is Fire Archer. Sympathy Pain or Hunt Master? I think you got to go Hunt Master, right? You attack there, you get the old soul. Hmm. You do spinny macaroons. Spinny macaroons? That's going to be the name of my new cake shop. All right, I think Huntmaster. I mean, let's just see the judgment, right? Isn't there anything else you can do? There is. Uh, attack here. I'm just hoping he spends dice, but there's no reason for him to spend dice. It pass. Yeah, this is why you should you play the hunt master because then if you even have to play judgment at least it's fine. Great. Can't play time hopper. I can't play anything else. Bend down those goat head and frog. Play the hunt master. There's judgment. Yeah. Good judgment. Yeah, so if I play, yeah, I'd have a couple more life, which is going to be the difference in the game here, right? Pass my main action? Yeah. What are you going to do? Nothing. All right, and so then he's, he's got a bucket full of burn, so there's nothing, no way to get out of this. I've got some burn too. Five? Boy. Of all the rotten. Okay. All right, play a book. Play the third and final time hopper book. Get a time hopper out there. Just see what he does. There's no frog heads up. Got molten golden hand. Shimmer wings it. As one does. Yeah, I should spin up some frog heads. How much? I need to do six damage. So 
So sympathy pain there. That for the winter. Excavate is probably just not going to get played this game. Uh, prime there. Another time up. Okay, so he did me a small favor there by pinging himself for one. Move the fire archer to hand. Is this going to be enough? One, two, I just need to do four now. Yeah, there's a frog head. Frog head. Frog up. There's molten gold. Like, I am so within his lethal damage right now. So I go here, right? I go time hopper. There, summon additional time offer. Yes, there. Attack for four. Ugh, man. Hmm. No simply pain, which I like that. me for this I come back with a sympathy pain now because he hit me with that means I can send over a single time hopper, hopefully live for a turn, molten gold for the win. Hmm. Hit me for one. Molten gold for the win. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is crazy game. All right, so I was able to sneak in for one extra damage with just the time hopper. Windmills, the fire archer, I'm down to three. They're down to three. Let's molten gold it. Whoa. Whoa. Good game. Oh, that was incredible. That game was so tight. <laughs> it says, well, yeah, that's incredible. That game. <laughs> Oh man, this deck had still burned. Does it have more burn to go? I had another molten gold, one sympathy. So is it a burn deck with two sympathy pains, two molten golds? Probably not. Oh, it was an incredible game. It was incredible. It was an incredible game. 
Very, very tense, and I loved your deck. I really like the Astria deck. I really do. Like, a play, uh, yeah, those is done very well. Hey, thanks everyone for playing. Thank you so much for uh, playing Lexius. Um, they did some good um, drafting stuff that we worked on. I don't know if the results were ever released, uh, but it's very cool. Um, so thank you, thank you for everyone to get Ash Techie going, Carl for running the league. This is for the Phoenix, and if you like enjoy what you saw, come on down, friendly community, and uh, come play with us. <laughs> oh, thanks. I could blush to this. Oh, <laughs> love to see it. It's a very competitive deck, and I love to see it in action. Everyone have a great day. Bye.